So I've come to one conclusion and one conclusion only. This is El Chapo's ranch, or at least El Chapo's brother, because this thing is banging. So I was going to attempt to do this um, little intro while I was driving, but that was not gonna be a good idea. I'm still not really driving. I'm in a stationary position. Stationary position. I'm waiting for the train to pass. Cue the train shot. I'm actually loaded up here with my photo booth. Uh, I'm gonna be dropping that off during my lunch. I'm on my way to my eight to five Monday through Friday job. I do IT support. That's what I went to school for. Graduated from Fresno State. Um, and uh, pretty much that's that's what I do eight to five um, Monday through Friday like maybe a lot of DJs that I know out there um, um, um. quick disclaimer guys my um and my uh is the equivalent of Robin's but um you'll find out what that means right now but um but um apparently she says it a lot that night, we found out just how much she said it. Oh, that's great. But, um, but, um nice. this wasn't your first spelling bee, was it? Nope, third. Oh, good for you. But, um, 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 but, Miguel, you sound like a doofus. Duh. That's what I'm trying to improve. Constructive criticism. Let's have some fun with it. So let's make it a drinking game. But, um, but, um. Damn! <laughs> the count starts now. Um, Monday through Friday, like maybe a lot of DJs that I know out there um, who are not blessed yet to be able to do this uh, full time. But that's the end goal, trying to get there. And this is kind of part of the journey, I guess. I'm dropping it off today because tomorrow I DJ for a wedding in Oakhurst which is pretty much about an hour and a half away um, kind of going towards the Yosemite area and I just do not want to deal with it tomorrow I rather take care of it today um, when I have to do a photo booth drop-off and DJ the same day um, at two different locations it kind of proves to be um, a little bit more stressful I'm very blessed with a lot of uh, good friends and uh, uh, my in-laws that helped me out a lot and being able to do that um, but today if I can take care of it I definitely will so I'm gonna be taking care of that during my lunch um, I also have some lights here I'm gonna let my uh, buddy DJ Swiss borrow some he had some issues with some of his lights he's doing uh, wedding at the Grand. I actually recommended his services to the couple and I'm gonna be covering for him later on today at Fat Al's which is a uh, sports bar there in Sanger, California and I mentioned in my previous video about how it was really hot in Fresno, California. We live in Fresno County. I actually lived in Fresno for more than 10 years as I went to school there and graduated and uh, got my first job out of college there and all that stuff and um, we just recently bought a house about a year ago um, there in Sanger, beautiful community. So I might use those inadvertently, Sanger and Fresno, um, just because I lived in Fresno for so long and um, now live in Sanger. So keep it locked and loaded throughout the day and I'll show you guys the process here as my journey as an entrepreneurial Latino. Dale! Negative 10 minutes, no ticket. So I'm right outside of Fat Owls right now. My buddy DJ R2O is uh, covering me until I got here. He actually set up. Also, I had uh, some errands to run and uh, essentially had a sick kid at home and a sick wife. So I had to tend to them first and make sure all was good there. Uh, it was a long day at work also. So now we're gonna go in here, uh, finish off the night, and uh, release him of his services. And then tomorrow, it's a whole other story for a wedding in Oakhurst and a photo booth event. So, 
stay tuned. We got some more action right now. Finally en route to Oakhurst. Uh, yesterday the event at Fat Al's went pretty good. Um, they actually offered me a residency there every Friday and I don't know if I'm gonna take it just because of the family time dynamic. My Saturdays are pretty much uh, booked and Sunday is the only family day that we have. So I don't know, I spoke to the wifey, she gave me the blessing, but it's gonna come down to a few more details. This is Chelly slash sister-in-law slash photo booth assistant slash DJ assistant slash makeup extraordinaire slash fashionista all right uh, she's gonna be helping me out today cuz I'm gonna be doing a ceremony in one location at 2 p.m. and then the reception piece is gonna be uh, like at 4 I believe 4 or 4 30 I barely got all of their information yesterday like at 10 p.m. and uh, which sucks because it doesn't allow me to prepare the way that I want to I pretty much had to prepare everything this morning because I was DJing yesterday and I mean there was nothing I could really do to prep for the wedding until this morning so we're on our way we're on the 41 right now uh, I anticipate I anticipate we'll probably get there like in about 50 minutes or so so it should be a good one I think we've arrived, but it's like a house and there's nobody here. I see quads. Hopefully we don't get chased out with dogs and stuff. Hello. Hi, how are you? Are we at the right location? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, we're looking for a party. <laughs> Thank you. And so, I'm assuming I'm going to be setting up down there somewhere? Well, you know, um, yeah, they're probably going to be on the stage. What's your name? Miguel. Nice to meet Miguel. you, sir. What's your name? Jose. Leti. Leti. <laughs> so, it seems like I'm lost and uh, Google sent me to the wrong location. I'm on the other side of the mountain of where I'm supposed to be and that's not good because every little minute counted and it's very frustrating. So I had to stop for directions nearby. Luckily there's a place there, some civilization and um, it was yeah, kind of, even now, oh, wow. We're all set up. I got here with uh, plenty of time because it turns out they were off on the address on the GPS for one digit. And like the pastor said, Mike Navarro, in a digital world, one digit is a lot. So running uh, pretty much like 30 minutes behind schedule. Um, I think the last people are trickling in for this, so, um, feel better that I wasn't the only one and but we're ready to go I'm ready to go so we're just waiting Folks, uh, God's plan for marriage is found in the Bible, and so we're going to talk about that just a little bit uh, at the beginning of the ceremony. We're going to begin with a Spanish reading of select verses from Genesis chapter 2. Now heading to the reception, which is about 20 minutes away, now that I know from point A to point B how to get there. So I'll see you guys at the ceremony.
that's a full-blown Tijuana tiger right there. So, quick update. We had to move from the top to the bottom because it started to drizzle. And uh, it was probably the fastest move we've ever done, ever. So, let's get back into it. Celebrate it. So we just wrapped this baby up and man was that eventful one I didn't get all the paperwork until the day before okay two I got the wrong address for the ceremony. I was panicking, but because they sent out the wrong address to pretty much everybody, everybody got lost. So we were running an hour behind schedule the whole time we get here. And then we do a lot of schedule of events, but the photographers didn't tell me that they're gonna be jetting out by 7.30. So we had to take care of all these special events before they took off. They had the honeymoon dance right after cutting the cake, we changed that because it's more important that they capture the bouquet toss, guard removal, all that jazz. And then it started sprinkling, so we had to relocate the everything, our sound, our lights, the whole shebang. Luckily, we had uh, some really generous guests who were able to help us, and we were able to do it like 10, 15 minutes. And you know, I had to just let everybody know, prep them up because even if it just sprinkled for a little bit, I mean, it's a lot of equipment I would have to replace essentially. And it's a done deal. Uh, awesome food. It was the first event ever where they had a full buffet, and then at 9 30, they had a taquero. All right, so. And it's perfect because a lot of people leave hungry or they work up an appetite. So a lot of little details that weren't missed here uh, as far as, you know, the decor and a, a lot of little intricate things. The location is just nice. I'm talking about Pablo Escobar Narcos slash El Chapo Rancho Nice. It's a whole different dimension. We're done here in Oakhurst. Um, thank you very much and blessed to be doing this every weekend with these great couples. Catch you guys on the flip side. That's, that's probably what I want with